Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tyler DeSantis, and this is going to be your reading for Leo Sun Moon Rising for the month of February. And I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Um, if I don't remember a card, I'm going to read it out of the book just to make sure I'm giving you guys an accurate reading. Ah! First card out the Five of Pentacles. So maybe you're in a mood or in a feeling that's like lacking. Like maybe things aren't manifesting as you thought they would. You have a kind of left out in the oh left out in the cold feeling. And maybe it's because <clears throat> you are not using your strength. You're letting your ego get the best of you in some sort of creative venture or project. Like the Three of Pentacles is all about coming together and using your creativity, whatever that may be. And the Strength card is about taming your beast. Most of the time, the beast is like the ego, or it's like mm, your desires, or mm, it could be other people too even, because the Strength card is, um, she's like petting the lion. It's basically like, if you pet a cat, it'll purr. You know what I'm saying? So instead of maybe using your tongue so harshly to people you can come into alignment with yourself and others by speaking softer using your um like it's almost like okay so sometimes in order to win win <laughs> you have to submit and let the other person think they're winning and that way you actually win in the long run so it's like getting what you want by using sugar instead of vinegar. Like, but it's for some sort of whatever you're doing creatively right now. Um, it might be put in the dark, and maybe that's making you angry, or it's making you feel some type of way, and you don't even ah, realize it. Yeah. So five of wands is all about the ego. So definitely taming that right now. And I know there's like some sort of weird alignment with the planets and that's been really hard on Leo. I don't remember exactly why. I'm not an astrologer, so but I do watch a lot of videos on astrology, so I remember them saying something about Leo's having a hard time right now and the earth signs. I just looked at the clock, it's 1 11 a.m. so <laughs> ah. okay, so let me see. Let me just flip some. Mm. So, Eight of Pentacles, um, being resilient and keeping up, working, um, staying consistent with whatever you're doing as far as work in your career or your goals and your passions and your dreams. Um, it's about sticking to the course right now. Keep it, oh, you have the Queen of Wands reversed. So the Queen of Wands is all about creativity, being able to nurture yourself and others, but where she's reversed, what are you not nurturing that needs to be nurtured right now? And I'm definitely with her coming out after the Eight of Pentacles. It's definitely like something to do with your career or something you... Oh, we got a lot of this all out. Okay. So four of... Pentacles reversed. So this card could be about hoarding, like money or something spiritually, like with your, um, anything could be, it could be anything really, like something that you know needs to come out, but you haven't put it out yet. Like it could be your gifts, it could be musical, it could be um, something to do with something you've studied, whatever you have an abundance of and you're not sharing it, that needs to be shared right now so or it could also be like you're lacking money or you're lacking something and you're really staying in that energy of lack instead of coming forward and being in your strength and manifesting things oh so you have the fool with the world reversed so right now you really need to jump you really need to take that leap um I haven't seen the world a lot lately, and the world card to me is like, it's walking to the beat of your own drum. It is being in your, uh, in your power, in your creativity, fully in your position of like who you are in your heart, 
like who you know to be and like what rings true for you and what resonates with you all the way like to the bone like all the way to the core all the way like what is like screaming in your soul to like wake the fuck up and do and whatever that is the fool says jump Ooh. okay so two of wands with the tower so the two of wands is like for me it's like he has the whole world in his hands basically it's like he's got everything he's um Mm. Okay, so he has the whole world in his hands, but he's looking out in the distance like, but he still wants more. Like, he's conquered the world, like, but there's still something missing. There's still something he has to do. And right now, it might feel like your life is almost crumbling, like everything is being, like they pulled the rug out from under your feet. And you're being crushed almost by the weight of all this pressure, but I'm getting chills. <laughs> but it's like, okay, so to make it, to make a diamond, a diamond needs pressure. So it's like spirit or God or whatever you believe in, the universe is like pushing all this weight on you and molding you and you almost feel like you're going to explode, but um just know it's for the greater good of you like you're being molded into a diamond oh ooh. <laughs> so nine of cups is so happiness fulfillment and he's not with anybody he's chilling by himself he doesn't need no one he's fully in his power he's happy he's content with himself Oh, the devil upside down. So, what is making you feel chained? What is making you feel bound? What are you hiding in the shadows of? Where, what, what are you attached to that's keeping you from being in this emotional fulfillment? Like, what's What's keeping you bound? Is it like drugs? Is it alcohol? Is it a job you hate? Is it a person? Nothing outside of you exists. Like your, your power is fully within you and this is about doing whatever you love for your own fulfillment. And the nine of cups is like, It's almost like he has this wall of happiness up around him you see because it's like this blue it's like a wall of happiness like with these cups on top of it like he's made this fortress around himself that just is pure happiness it's like so this is his wave like he's gonna ride his wave and say fuck everybody else and so what's keeping you bound to this dark place what's keeping you in this sad emotion instead of being over here in this fuck it I'm happy abundance of emotional shit <laughs> I'm gonna pull one more card for you guys mm. ah. Knight of Wands so right now is the time to charge forward, go on your quest, figure out what you love to do, travel, um, create, explore, um, move forward with, like his, his horse looks like fire, so it's like lighting a flame under your ass and going for it, going for the gold, figuring out what the gold is, and his staff has like new growth on it. This is the beginning of an adventure, a beginning of a new life. So, <laughs> let me pull one of these. I love this deck. Okay, Leo, Sun Rising. 
last message from the Yo Sun Moon Rising. Right up here. Oh. These cards are like wanting to come out before I lose the whole deck. <laughs> cool. Play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be too serious. And Anna, grand, Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. So, um, obviously, like, figure out what it is you want to do. Figure out what the divine plan is for yourself. Figure out what you need to do now that this tower, now that you're having this tower moment, or just got through a tower moment. What do you really want in life? What, where can you lay these bricks, start this foundation, put the concrete down, build the floor? Like, what needs to be built from the ground up? And it's about making a list and figuring out um, the depths of your own soul, of who you truly are, based on your truth. But don't get so caught in it that you don't forget to play, you know? So, okay. <laughs> I didn't have to use the book, so that's good. I feel like when I say that, it's like, I don't have to use it. It's weird. I think it's like a mental thing. But, okay, if you guys want to get a personal reading, it's on my website, Tyler DeSantis. Check out my art on there. It's got, I don't think you can see these in the... These are made with period blood. <laughs> but check out my website and all this shit um, for more info and stuff. But um, I'll see you guys in March. Bye.